guys. Today you're going to start a city project. So this project is not due until Thursday. Say so you have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to work on it. So make sure you submit it to me by Thursday. Um, if you click here, you've got the city project instructions, which I have pulled up right here and we're going to talk about in just a second. Um, and this, it does say that it's worth 95 points, but I doubled that. So it's really worth 190 points. So make sure that you do this. Okay, so before we start, let's just do a quick review over all the different types of angles. So you've got your interior angles, which is in between your two lines. You have alternate interior, which alternates over the transversal. So this way and this way. You have your, how about I number? two, three, four. So three and six and four and five would be alternate interior angles. You've got alternate exterior angles, which is like one and eight, two and seven. You have same side interior angles, three and five, four and six, two and eight, one and seven would be same side exterior angles. And you have corresponding angles. So one and five would be corresponding, three and seven would be corresponding, two and six, four and eight. And don't forget about like your vertical angles and linear pairs. So vertical angles are like one and four, three and two, five and eight, seven and six, and your linear pair are the two right next to each other, like one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Um, you could also go this way, 8 and 6, 7 and 5, 1 and 3, 2 and 4. Okay, so you're going to have a city project, and the thing about the city project is there's going to be three streets that are parallel to each other, three streets. So when you're looking at the different angles, you always want to ignore one of the streets, okay? So I'm going to number all of these angles, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 12 different angles here. So say you want a pair of alternate exterior angles. So you could ignore the middle line, which has five, six, seven, and eight. You could ignore that and do alternate exterior as one and 12 or two and 11. Or you could ignore this bottom line and do alternate exterior as one and eight, two and seven, or you could ignore the top line and do alternate exterior as 5 and 12, 6 and 11. So you're always going to ignore one line. Um, say you want alternate, or say you want same side interior, same side interior. So if I ignore the bottom line, I would look up here, 3 and 5 would be same side interior, or 4 and 6. Say I want to ignore the middle line. Same side interior would be like three and nine, four and 10. If I wanna ignore the top line, same side interior would be seven and nine, eight and 10. So you're always gonna ignore one. So on your directions, it says, your city must have three streets that are parallel to each other and then one street that goes through it. That's that transversal. Um, so then it's going to tell you, like, your city has to have a hospital that's alternate exterior to a school. Then the school and the drugstore are corresponding angles, so you have to go through and make your city. So I've got an example city here, down here, that I drew out, so you've got options. You can draw it on paper, take a picture, and send it to me if you want to draw it out. Um, this copy is not so great, but you can do that. You can also do it on Google. So if you go to, let's see, if you go to your three dots and you go into your drive and you click new and then you click more right here, you can do Google drawings, Google drawings. So you can draw it out if you want. So I highly suggest you start with just kind of a plan where you sketch it out on paper. So I'm gonna go back to this. So you're just gonna sketch out. So I've got my three streets and then my street that's the transversal. So I would look 
at the first set of directions, which says your city has a hospital that is alternate exterior to a school. So you can just sketch it out. So let's see. I'm going to ignore the middle line. Okay? So I'm going to say my hospital is here. And I'm ignoring the middle line, so it's alternate exterior with a school. So I'm just going to kind of sketch it out and make sure that it all fits. And if it doesn't fit, then I may have to redo it and say, okay, well, that didn't work. Now I'm going to ignore the bottom line and then go from there. Okay, so I have a hospital and a school that's alternate exterior. Then it says the school and the drugstore are corresponding. So maybe this time I ignore the top line and do the corresponding right here. So now I have the drugstore like Walgreens or CVS or whatever. So those would be corresponding. Then it says... The drugstore and the pet shop are vertical angles, so I want to make sure. So see, here's a good point. Say I ignored the middle line and did the school and the drugstore, and then it said vertical angles, my hospital would be in the way, so I would have to start over. So now I've got the drugstore and I can do the pet shop that's vertical, and so on. So I would sketch it out first. That's the best way. Like I said, you can draw it on paper if you want and then just submit it to me that way. Um, so I've got that example. Or you can do it on Google Drawings. So I like made my hospital. I've got the school. Where is my school? Um, here. Here's my school. Oh, no, that's Woodland Hills Mall. Sorry. There's the hospital. There's the school. So I ignored this line. And then I have my corresponding. So there's my drugstore. There's my pet shop. So I just put pictures. So anyway, you have options. Um, if you have any questions at all, let me know. Um, if you're really, really creative, I'll give you extra credit. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I miss you.